India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Health Minister Harshwardhan on Monday released a new anti-COVID drug after clinical trials showed it aided the recovery of hospitalised coronavirus patients and reduced dependence on supplemental oxygen. This came as the country's daily spike of coronavirus cases remained below the 300,000 mark for the first time since April 21 on Monday. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Health Minister Harshwardhan on Monday released the first batch of a new anti-COVID drug, 2-deoxy-D glucose, after clinical trials showed it aided the recovery of hospitalised coronavirus patients and reduced dependence on supplemental oxygen. The drug was jointly developed by India's state-run Defence Research and Development Organisation and Hyderabad-based Dr. Reddy's Laboratories Limited. The Drugs Controller General of India had earlier approved the drug for emergency use. It comes in powder form in a sachet, which is taken orally by dissolving it in water. It accumulates in the virus-infected cells and prevents virus growth by stopping viral synthesis and energy production. <laughs> यानी हमारे देश के सामने एक बड़ा से बड़ा बस चैलेंज आए तो हमारे वैज्ञानिकों के अंदर बस क्षमता है बस ताकत है तो उसका मुकाबला वो कर सकते हैं और जो ये ड्रग का इजाद किया गया है मैं समझता हूं कि हमारे देश के वैज्ञानिकों की एक जो साइंटिफिक कैपेबिलिटी है उसकी भी एक मिसाल है Meanwhile, India reported a further decline in new coronavirus cases on Monday as new infections over the past 24 hours were put at 281,386 by the Health Ministry, dropping below 300,000 for the first time since April 21. While lockdowns have helped limit cases in parts of the country hit during initial surge of infections in February and April, such as Maharashtra and Delhi, rural areas and some states are dealing with fresh surges. The government issued detailed guidelines on Sunday for monitoring COVID-19 cases, with the health ministry asking villages to look out for people with flu-like illness and get them tested for COVID-19.